Jane Lynch is used to taking on roles that make us smile, like when she became a household name, starring as Sue Sylvester on the hit comedy Glee, a role which earned her an Emmy and Golden Globe. Jane also added a couple more Emmys to her resume as host of the wildly popular Hollywood Game Night. Now Jane is taking on a more serious role in the new miniseries Manhunt Unabomber. She plays Attorney General Janet Reno working with the FBI to capture Ted Kaczynski, a.k.a. the Unabomber. Take a look. Well, I just want to make certain that you're aware of the consequences here. What happened at Waco, my decisions there will haunt me for the rest of my natural life. And I can say from experience that everything's different when the camera's pointed at you. Yeah. But I'd rather respect the man I see in the mirror than the man I see on TV. Okay. Let's do it. You have the full support of the DOJ. Wow. Jane Lynch, good morning. Good morning. What an incredible project. We yes. were just joking that she has like 90 billion projects, but this <laughs> yeah. one was worth it, right? Yeah, this yeah. is an amazing thing. Of course, I was a fan of Janet Reno when yeah. she was the attorney general. Um, if she held the job longest of anybody. Um, and she was a really independent force out there for the Department of Justice, and she had a lot of really big cases on her desk. At the same time, Waco, she made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. She owned up to all of them, and uh, this was a huge gamble, uh, printing Ted Kaczynski's uh, uh, manifesto in the newspaper, which is akin to negotiating with a terrorist. Yeah. So and when you mm -hmm. got this role, yes. did you th have a pause? Because you're playing somebody that you've admired yeah. for so long. I didn't pause, but definitely that was a consideration of uh, and something that I, I feared. <laughs> you know, you don't want to, when somebody, when yeah. somebody's wow. so familiar uh, to the world, you, you know, there, there's always uh, the gamble that, you know, you, fall on your face, but I, I, of course, tried to get rid of those fears immediately and just get to work on it. Mm -hmm. And what kind of research did you do for this well, role? Well, I kind of knew the case pretty well. I was alive and, and, sure. and thinking as an adult in the 90s. Um, I did a lot of, I, I actually got a hold of a man who was her assistant um, and became one of her best friends, and he was invaluable because he kind of filled in the, the personality traits for me and the, the goodness of her heart and her huge sense of humor, but also her, um, you know, just strict adherence to following the facts. Mm -hmm. That's good mm -hmm. stuff. Well, congratulations is in order. We just talked yes. about this. I wonder, does it ever sink in? So you were nominated for an Emmy. You've been nominated nine times. You nine. won three. Wow. Okay. No, I did not know that. <laughs> nine times and you won three. You don't even count. Yeah, you I don't mean. get it home and count. <laughs> yeah. I, I, so I'm thrilled for this particular. I mean, all of them are great, but this is for a web series that um, I did with a bunch of friends called Dropping the Soap, and you can get it on Amazon. And it's about a, a soap opera circling the drain, trying Dan. to stay relevant, <laughs> and nice. it's uh, threatened to go off the air all the time. So. Yeah. And you also just performed with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. Is that like one of those pinch me Yes, moments? exactly. To show up and, you know, I practice with my piano player, Brad Ellis, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you have a world-renowned symphony behind you. What did you do? Uh, I went, cry? did everything. Yeah, did I you cried. Cry? I, did, <laughs> I did weep a couple of times, not during the, uh, the performance, but just the, the rehearsal was just amazing. I did everything from Cole Porter to um, uh, James Brown. Yeah. I mean, we, we uh, no, no singing. Oh, I thought oh, you said you were playing the piano. Oh no, my, like, you my the piano, piano player too? Brad. Oh. No, 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 oh, okay, no, no. Okay, okay, Brad okay. Ellis does that. But she probably <laughs> could. I could if I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, she definitely could. I just don't have any time. I have 90 billion projects. <laughs> <laughs> and perfect teeth. Yeah, I, I was just perfect remarking teeth. on everybody's teeth, and you included me in that group. Thank you. <laughs> Do you ever sleep? I do. Oh my, you know, the thing about it is, I have a lot of free time. Yes. No. I no. do. And it's possible. I just had the Nat Geo show. Right, but that's live. It's two hours. You rehearse the day before. I mean, it, it, these aren't like really time consuming Although things. Although this one probably took a, a couple months, no? No, not for me. I was there for like three days. I mean, I meant yeah, we got to figure yeah. out how <laughs> Jane Lynch did. Well, you know, no they idea how Hollywood just works. Just because of the, uh, the, the, the location stuff, they shoot the same location in the same day. I'm going to start so. just marking things by what Jane Lynch would do. <laughs> WWJLD. There you I go. love it. Can we get a little rubber bracelet? Yep, I'm going to make some. Sweet. Jane, I'm going to make some. Yes. So much. You bet. Manhunt Unabomber, her latest project, premieres Tuesday, August 1st on the Discovery Channel. And uh, I guess I'll do some weather. weather. Yeah. Do you do weather? Uh, no, no, I do don't do weather. I did a little weather on the Nat Geo thing, and I thought All I did pretty well. All you have to say is heat Just, wave. Yeah, say heat wave. Ladies and gentlemen, Heat wave. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weather across the country. Now, here's your local forecast and a peek out your window. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.